welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video in this video we're with the Vauxhall Safira this is a 1.8 2010 and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove the fan motor what's connected to the radiator what kills your radiator down for your engine and the reason why it's because I have actually had a code come up, which is P0482 slash 06. And that relates to this fan here. And I know that anyway, because when you put power to it, it ain't working anyway. So I did try looking on YouTube to have a look, see if there was a video. There may be one on there, but I couldn't find one on there. So I thought... I'll bring you along and show this video to see if it helps anybody out. Now, there might be some background noise, but I can't help that, so you'll just have to bear with me. Now, I have disconnected the battery, which is a 10mm, and I've disconnected the wire underneath, which I'll show you now, so I'll just bear with me. If you look, just there it is a bit dark just there you can actually see the wire just there what i've disconnected from it as well just to make it easier it does just clip out so let's get to it now all you have to do is i find it easier to actually take the front off which is the grill here you don't have to but i find it easier to so here we go let me just put you on the stand just why i take the front grill off like i said you don't have to but i do just to get more lighting i don't actually want to go on right. and All these are on here are screws which are T I think it's T twenties, T twenty fives, and there's one, two, three. So I'm just gonna quickly be taking them off. So I'll just bear with me. I had to pause it there where I took the screws out like I said so there's just one there one there and one there and all you have to do with this you just pull it forward like that it just pulls forward and just lifts out so if I just put it back there that's why I pull it out There you go, as you can see, they're just on these clips here, what clipping, and that's what it looks like across there. I have actually got another video showing you how to remove this grill, so if you go through my videos, you will actually see me removing the grill. So, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this to one side. Like I say, you don't have to remove that, but I have. Um, the next thing you have to remove is I'm just going to be undoing this wire now as you can see that just presses in and just moves out the way I'm just going to be tucking that over there so it's out the way and the next thing I'm going to be moving is this here so all I do is just push that there and move it out the way and as you can see it comes straight out like that and the next thing we're going to be removing is this screw here and then once you're under that screw this will be your cds here and that one there there once you take that out that'll push forward and then this part here which is here i'll actually come out as well so 
let me just onto that screw that is a let me just check a t25 so screws just there that's what the screw looks like there and then all I'm going to be doing now is if you see what I mean you see where you got these here if you just push that forward you'll see it actually moves out the way and that one there and all you have to do is wiggle it around and move it out the way I'm actually going to put you back down now just so I can actually remove it so I can free my hands up I am trying to get you the best shots here, but some of them I'm going to be hard. So, there you go, that's that removed. Right, now you will actually have two um, screws. Then screws they are the socket i'm using is a let me just have a look is a e is a e8 that's what it looks like and you will actually have one just located just here where my finger is you'll have one there and you will have one just here so once i remove them i'll be back with you so let me just set you up again So I don't think I'm going to work up yet now. Just remove that. Just trying to get in with an extension. So this one here. And there you go. That's what that screw looks like. Which is then there. And like I say, you'll have one on the other side as well. Which is where I show you. Which is just located here, just behind that pipe. This is what I'm using. I'm actually using a small extension with a swivel, and I'll just use that. I'll find it more easier to use it that way. And that's the other one. Now what you have to do now, you will have this pipe just here, running around what connects to the plastic cowling. What I do, I'll just pull that out, like that, and this one, and I'll just hook it over that part there, just there. That part just there uh, and then the next pipe we're going to be actually removing is this one here as you can see and it's on the clip you just lift the clip up and then it releases and then you just pull your pipe out and then your pipe will come out you must do that just so you can free that up as you can see it's actually loose now there ain't no screws on the bottom they'll just actually hold it in by a clip like that, what just bolts on, so that I clip on and it just the plastic cowling will just clip over it like that. So let me just undo that and I'll be back with you. Right, 
I am trying to get you the best camera angles I can. So I'll just bear with me with that. So let me just onto this pipe now, down here. Like that. And then as you can see, now it just lifts up like that. Now I always find out it's best to get this part out first. So as you lift up, lift up like that. Bring that part up as you can see and then the complete lot will actually come out like that and that's what it looks like like it says then with the clips on the bottom where it clips in as you can see so you'll have like that and that just clips in to that like that and then you'll actually have another one this side Whereas when you put it back in, it just pops into the peg like that as well. Now, you can actually buy all this as in one. Or you can just buy the motor itself, which is that part and this part here. And this is the actual part what fails on these. Um... I might just be able to get you that's the part number for the actual motor all you have to do is just put that in eBay and the part come up now I actually brought the part for this yet I'm just going to be taking it off and when the part comes I'm going to be fitting it back on and putting it back on the car I might make another video on that, I might not because it's just the reverse of taking this to pieces. But the part, just for reference, I'm going to actually show you, if I can, this part here. Which is here, and as you can see, to, to get that out, it's actually a T20. And the T20 screw is just there, as you can see. Now to bear with me while I get a, a screwdriver. Right. It's just between the two wires. And this is, like I said, this is the actual part what goes on these. There is like a resistor inside them, and it's then what goes. It is um, common on um, on Vauxhall for these to go. Very common, as far as I've been told. So all you have to do, take the screw out. It actually lifts off, lifts out like that. And as you can see, there's the resistor, just there. And if you look inside, it's actually that part what goes there, and this part as well. So all I'm going to be doing is just replacing this here with the wiring, and actually this part here. And now these come out, if you, again, there are T20s, which is one there, one there, and one there. And your motor will actually come out, as you can see, will actually come out from there. And there you go. Like I say, I might make another video on it. I don't know yet of pulling one back in and pulling it back together. But like I say, all it is, it's just the reverse of actually taking it out i thought like i said i thought i'd make this video because i couldn't find one online actually showing you someone taking one out of out of a safira i reckon you know there might be the same in the Vauxhall astras as well but i just thought i'll bring you along and show you this video if it helped you out at all or you did like this video please consider giving it a thumbs up as it does help 
do appreciate all the new subscribers who subscribe to the channel as well i do do appreciate that if you ain't already press the bell for when i upload new videos it will actually notify you to let you know there's a new video being uploaded i'm actually going to be leaving it there now and stop waffling on as i do like to keep the videos as short as possible and until next time i'll catch you in another one